Hello children, good morning all of you. Today for class 10, ICC, CBSC and West Bengal board also. Equation of a straight line, part 10. That means you have already got 9 lessons. You must go through that lesson. Especially video number 1, there are formulas. Formulas you have to learn and you have to remember. Now pay your attention on the board. Sums given from Emil Agarwal's book exercise 12.1. Sum number 34. Sum you will get in your book and here it is written clearly. Here, the idea of equation of the line you have to require. See, diagram you have to draw here. Without diagram, I think you will not able to understand this sum. The Diagonals of the rectangle, find the equation of the diagonals whose sides, that is here the equation of the four sides of the rectangle are given this. And x equal to minus 1. This is the x axis, the x o x dash and this is y o y dash, this axis. x equal to minus 1, x equal to this origin, x equal to minus 1. x equal to minus 1 will be the parallel to y axis and x equal to 2 1 2 x equal to parallel to y axis this and y equal to minus 2 y equal to minus 2 that will be parallel to x axis and y equal to 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 that is parallel to x axis in this way you have to draw the diagram let a b c d be the rectangle formed by this line a b c d now in the adjoining figure in this figure the vertices of the rectangle are a coordinates of a that is vertices of rectangle a b c line a b and line a d intersect at a Equation of line AD that is x equal to minus 1 and equation of AB that is y equal to 6. So naturally the coordinates of A will be minus 1, 6. In this way coordinate of B, the line, this, this is the line and this line, these two lines intersect at the point B. Therefore that is 1, 2, this equation x equal to 2 and this is y equal to 6 so coordinate of b will be 2 6 and if coordinates of c coordinate of c that is x equal to 2 and this is y equal to minus 2 in this way x equal to 2 y equal to minus 2 similarly the coordinates of d that is x equal to minus 1 this and y equal to minus 2 that is minus 1 minus 2 i think it is clear after getting the coordinates of the vertices then it will be simple in which way we have got the coordinates of the vertices that you have to understand clearly now the equation of the diagonal bd that is the bd diagonal i passing through two points naturally the equation will be y minus y1 equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 passing through the points b and d coordinates of b that is 2 6 and coordinate of d that is minus 1 minus 2 and if you write in this way that is x1 y1 and x2 y2 that will be easier in plotting the values in the equation that is in place of y1 that is y1 that is y minus 6 and y2 minus y1, y2 that is minus 2 and y1 that is minus, minus 6, here is minus 4 minus 6, minus 2 minus 6, then x2 minus x1, what is x2, x2 is minus 1 and x1 that is 2, so minus 1 minus 2 into x minus x minus x1, what is x1, that is 2, x minus 2, in this way if you write then it will be easier for plotting the values in this equation. Then we have to simplify minus 2 minus 6 and minus 3 minus 2 that is minus 8 by, uh, by minus 3 
minus minus will be cancelled then cross multiplication we will keep the x in left hand side and y in right hand side this is why first we are multiplying x into x minus 2 equal to 3 into y minus 6 then 8x minus 16 equal to 3y minus 18 8x this 3 we are taking right side to left hand side that is the 8x minus 3y minus 16 and this is minus 18 it will be plus 18 equal to 0 by simplifying we are getting 8x minus 3y plus 2 equal to 0 therefore the required equation of bd that is diagonal bd is 8x minus 3y plus 2 equal to 0 that is equation of diagonal bd we have got now again we have to find out the equation of the diagonal ac again the equation of the diagonal ac is same that is passing through two points so naturally the equation will be y minus y1 equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 here also you will write in this way then it will be easier for plotting the values in the equation here uh, y minus y1 y1 that is 6 so y minus 6 and y2 that is minus 2 and y1 that is 6 so minus 2 minus 6 and x2 that is x2 that is 2 and x1 x1 that is minus 1 it is minus and this is minus so these values if you write in this way then you can avoid the wrong of sign and this is why I have written in this way then x minus x1 x1 that is minus 1 this is why within first bracket if you write then uh, will be less chance to commit wrong then we have to simplify y minus 6 equal to minus 2 minus 6 that is minus 8 and minus minus this is plus 1 2 plus 1 that is 3 x plus 1 this is minus this is minus so minus minus plus then we have to cos multiply uh, we have to cos multiplication that is minus 8 into x plus 1 equal to 3 into y minus 6 after multiplication we are getting minus 8x minus 8 equal to 3y minus 18 then we have to take all the terms in uh, right side to left side so 8x minus 3y minus 8 and this is coming from right to left so it will be plus 18 by simplification we are getting minus 8x minus 3y plus 10 equal to 0 minus is coming first this is why we have to take the common minus after taking common minus the sign of inside will be the change here is minus so it will be plus here is plus so it will be minus then minus uh, if you take right side that is 0 minus 0 plus 0 that is same so it will be 8x plus 3y minus 10 equal to 0 this is the required equation of AC is this then we have got the equation of two diagonals if you follow the step attentively Shardodip and Shonok easily you will understand when you are understanding then you must tell your friends to follow this okay thank you everybody